Hey everybody, this is Ableton Certified Trainer Thavius Beck, back with another batch of tutorials discussing how to take advantage of some functions in the brand new and improved Simpler instrument. In this first one, I want to discuss a very cool way to take advantage of the pitch of a sample in real time. There's a few different ways to do this with Simpler, and the first way I'll discuss doing this is by using the pitch envelope. First off, let me play this little drum break that I have loaded in here right now. Uh, this is already warped. It's going to play perfectly in time with my project. So right now it's a one bar loop. I'm going to actually go ahead and make this a two bar loop. I'm going to hit my duplicate loop button. And I'm going to actually delete the second note. Select the first one. And I'm going to press legato. So this stretches out for the whole two bars. All right, so you get a feel for how that sounds. Now, what I'd like to do is be able to change the pitch of this in real time. And since the sample is currently warped, when I change the pitch, it's not gonna affect the timing. So we can do some very interesting stuff. Let's hit our tab next to the sample tab here. There's a tab that says controls. And if we select this, I'm able to see a few different things here. I have my pitch envelope, which is over here. And if I wanna use this, I need to activate it. So there is a little square right here. And if I click that, now we've activated our pitch envelope. Now it would be nice to be able to see my pitch envelope in the sample at the same time. So let's navigate over here and this little triangle will allow me to see the sample while I'm looking at the controls. So a pitch envelope. An envelope will allow us to change something over the course of the note, over the lifetime of the note. And as this note plays, the pitch envelope will allow us to change the pitch over the lifetime of this note. And this will give us some very interesting results. So in order to make this do anything, first we have to set the pitch envelope amount. How much will the pitch envelope allow us to change the pitch? Right here it says amount and it says zero semitones. So the pitch envelope, even though we've activated it by hitting this little yellow square here, it's not actually doing anything. If I play the sample right now, as we can hear, the pitch is not changing. So the first thing I have to do is set the amount. So let's try an octave to start with. And an octave is 12 semitones. Right now this is zero semitones. So 12, enter. So the amount is set for plus 12 semitones. As we look at the shape of the envelope, there is a tack, which is the time from when you strike the note to the amount level, which is right here. So there's a certain amount of attack time. So here's attack, and then it's a number of milliseconds. How long does it take to get from the pitch you played to the amount of the pitch envelope? After the uh, attack time, there's a decay time. So if I move the attack, you notice the front of the envelope, this little square here is moving further in time, okay? So now there's gonna be a bit of time from the original pitch that we played to the amount that we set here. Let me make this a little bit longer and we'll hear the effect at the beginning of the note. So the pitch is going to go up 12 semitones over the course of 3.27 seconds. And you might notice at the end of the loop, the pitch, it starts to drop again. The reason why is because after the attack stage, okay, the pitch that we played going to the amount that we've set, there's a decay time, and that's the amount of time it takes for the pitch to drop back down to this sustain parameter. This is the pitch that the note will play at as if you keep holding the note down, if you sustain the note. So first, the attack, it'll increase to the amount level here. After a certain amount of decay time, the pitch will decrease to the sustain level. Now we can make this lower than 0%, at minus 100, it's basically the opposite of the amount. It's going to be minus 12 semitones. So we can see the shape of the envelope. The pitch will get higher, and then it will drop. And it's going to drop pretty quickly. Let me change the decay time, and I'll shorten the attack. So let's hear what the pitch envelope that we've just created is going to do to our drum. Make the decay time a little bit longer. So now the pitch drops more gradually after the attack time. And we can increase the amount here to make this even more dramatic. And depending on the warp mode that you're using, you can really mangle your samples in some interesting and unique ways. So this is just one way to apply it to a drum break, but you can obviously use this with melodic samples as well.